Kid News fans, tired of advertisements? We get it, but we also have to keep the lights on. There's a way around them, though. Parents can join StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or at StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe to ditch the commercials and unlock access to future bonus episodes and other exclusive content from the StarGlow Media Network. That's StarGlow Plus on Apple Podcasts or at StarGlowMedia.com slash subscribe. Now, on to the news. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. And we begin with a 13-year-old reporter from Brooklyn, New York, turning heads with her knack for scoring A-list interviews. Jaslyn Guerra is a bona fide YouTube sensation with her own Jazzy's World TV channel. She always travels with a microphone and iPad and patiently waits outside of recording studios and morning shows. So far, she's successfully chased down the likes of Jay-Z, Cardi B, Shaq, Nicki Minaj, Alicia Keys, and Michelle Obama. Her biggest catch? A recent interview with North West, the 10-year-old daughter of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Jazzy spotted her at a concert and told the New York Post, I decided to ask her if it was okay to interview her, but I said before you say yes or no, can you please ask a parent? Kim Kardashian agreed and the rest is Jazzy history. This budding journalist has 683,000 subscribers on YouTube, 1 million followers on Instagram, and 1.3 million on TikTok. Undeniable proof of the Caitlin Clark effect. For the first time in history, the Women's March Madness basketball final drew more viewers than the men's, and it wasn't even close. Sunday's game that featured Caitlin's Iowa Hawkeyes up against the eventual winner, South Carolina, had an audience of 18.9 million, four million more than tuned in to watch Monday night's Connecticut versus Purdue showdown. According to the Wall Street Journal, all that attention won't be reflected in the money each side receives for TV rights, at least not yet. This year, the men will get $873 million, the women just $6.5 million. One final note, the WNBA draft is next week and Caitlin is expected to go first to the Indiana Fever. In anticipation, CBS News reports at least one team set to play the Fever has already moved the game to a bigger arena to hold all of Caitlin's fans. Some not-so-great news for our planet. For the 10th month in a row, Earth set a new monthly record for global heat, with both air temperatures and the world's oceans hitting an all-time high in March, according to the European Union climate agency, Copernicus. Scientists say part of the blame rests with the naturally occurring El Nino weather pattern, and part with the man-made heat-trapping emissions of coal, oil, and natural gas. And it's the human factor that led to a landmark decision overseas. An international court has ruled that Switzerland's failure to tackle the climate crisis undermines the health and well-being of its citizens and is a violation of human rights. It's the first time the court has made a ruling on warming and its decision is expected to ripple around the globe. A reminder to always microchip and never give up. A terrier mix that went missing in San Diego last summer just turned up more than 2,000 miles away in Michigan. Mishka's family peppered their Southern California town with flyers soon after her disappearance, but the case wasn't cracked until a good Samaritan outside of Detroit notified police of a stray. Police took the pooch to a nearby shelter, which scanned her chip and called her humans, who just so happened to be on their way to the Midwest for Easter. There's no word on how Mishka got from sunny SoCal to Michigan. But as the Gross Point Animal Adoption Society posted on its website, this is a tale that Hollywood would love to tell. In other Kid News notes, it's a tradition unlike any other, and it tees up tomorrow. We're talking about the Masters, golf's premier event, which is always played at Augusta National in Georgia. Tiger Woods plans to make another run for the winner's coveted green jacket, even though he told reporters yesterday his body now hurts all over pretty much all the time. Another win would be icing. He's already slipped on that jacket five times. 
Can you spell game changer? For the first time in 75 years, Scrabble is tinkering with its board. On one side will be the original, and on the flip side will be a less competitive version the company hopes will appeal to Gen Z and people who find word games intimidating. The new option is called Scrabble Together, will include helper cards, use a simpler scoring system, and allow people to play in teams. Still to come, a challenge. Can you hold a plank longer than a grandma? But first, we want to do a shout-out correction. Before we took off for spring break, we celebrated Wyatt, Isaac, and Liam Ledoux, but fumbled on their hometown. They are from Renton, Washington, not Virginia. Thanks, Team Ledoux, for being such good sports about it. Now, today's quiz. How old is Jazzy, the reporter from Brooklyn, New York? Thirteen. How many months in a row has Earth set a warm weather record? Ten. Where was a missing dog from San Diego, California found thanks to her microchip? In Michigan, what game is making a board change for the first time in 75 years? Scrabble. In today's Kid News Kicker, a question for all you student athletes. How long can you hold a plank? Probably not as long as a retired high school vice principal. 58-year-old Donna Jean Wild of Alberta, Canada, who's a grandmother of 12, maintained perfect form with her body elevated and forearms and toes on the ground for just over 4 hours and 30 minutes, according to Guinness, to set a new world record for women. And she did it at the high school where she once worked so students could watch and cheer her on. Donna Jean says the first two hours flew by, but the last two and a half, not so much. For men, the current Plank World Record is just over 9 hours and 38 minutes. Before we go, we want to shout out our Kid News classrooms, starting with Mrs. Mizoni and her lightning at Lincoln in Warren, Michigan. Mrs. Scudder and her stars at Thomas Jefferson in Roseville, California. And Mrs. Foster and Monty the Bulldog at Belmont in Shawnee, Kansas. Thanks for listening. A reminder that Kid News is a nonprofit, and your tax deductible donations help keep our mics on five days a week. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.